Oh my god, yeah. They I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, we gonna get some, into some oh things. Oh my god, yeah. some mm -hmm. shit. Yeah, I've been waiting for this for like so long. I know I've been talking about the end of the on my channel. She talked about me on her channel and Yes, y'all. Welcome back to our channel because Welcome. it's gonna be on both of our channels. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So we got so much shit to talk about, y'all. Like so much shit. We gonna talk mm -hmm. about shit. It is currently one twelve in the morning. Yeah. I keep we we y'all. We have a monitor down there. Yeah. So we gonna so keep that's why looking. we keep looking down. Cause but, we try, you know we girl, girl. we here we here though. <laughs> we look at this. We got. <laughs> Yeah, we got so much shit to talk about, y'all. Like, so yep. much shit. Yeah, we got it in our notes. Let me show. Ew. All right. Of well, course. Excuse my lace, y'all. It's so it weird. Just... Oh, my God. We finally doing my this video. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Video. Mm -hmm. I broke my nail. Y'all already know. Y'all probably gonna be my nails ain't done. So y'all can talk all the shit y'all wanna talk in the I'm comments. Dead. I don't care. <laughs> we gonna do. We doing a girls talk video, mm -hmm. and this is our first video together. So we like really nervous yeah. and like we just don't know what to do. So yeah. we gonna put the questions in the middle of us or mm -hmm. somewhere. Or like right here. Yeah, at the bottom. The bottom. Bam. So we will put Bam. questions in the middle. Bam. Yeah. So who wanna go first, me or you? I don't know. Let me let me see. Let me see. Let's, Let's start with this one because you just said something about me being your friend. Okay. But okay. you kind of already answered it. How okay. long? Somebody asked, how long have you guys been friends? Twenty thirteen, right? You was in eighth grade. Um, I think so. It's in eighth grade, so that's twenty thirteen. Yeah. So long time. That's child. about to be nine mm -hmm. years. Basically okay. ten. Mm -hmm. Long to round it up, so it's ten. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true, true. Okay. Damn, you got mad questions. Yeah, I have a lot. Shit. Dating men our age versus older men. They all stupid. Oh my. <laughs> okay. I have Let never dated. No, I did one time. Mm -hmm. I barely dated older guys. I just always felt like that was just creepy. And like, what can we relate with? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what can we relate with? Like, you're not in my era. So it's just like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Like. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when we when we was young, we just, like, the shit just, we just knew about. You can't go to a, as freaking 16, go to a 24-year-old and be like, oh, let me, let me start being like a 24. You can't go to, like, a 22-year-old at 16 years old. And, but I mean, like, like you can know. learn things from men that are older than you. Because I, I, I date older men. I feel like men who date younger women are just perverts. Mm -hmm. It's like, what do you want with a younger woman? That's but I get like, it because sometimes older women are like, you know. Boring? Not boring, but they're more experienced. So that means they already come with like a certain expectation. That's what I'm saying. Like that just goes to show like, mm -hmm. that's just a sign of weakness from me. Weakness, being. yeah, that is true. Yeah, like, I just feel like that's like real mm -hmm. like pervertish. What's better, <sighs> dating men our age or older men? I always dated guys around my age, mm -hmm. so I'll say guys around my age. Um, I would say it doesn't really matter to be honest because like men are just dumb. Yeah, in general, like, guys is just dumb. Like no shade. Guys age and mm -hmm. they their brains don't really age. Like mm -hmm. they just age. So it's just like you can meet a guy at seventeen, honestly, and he could wake act way better than a guy that's at twenty eight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like just. With guys, they mature off of experiences in life. We just yeah. mature because we got to go through a lot of things. We got to go, women have to go through a lot of phases in life. So that's why we yeah. mature naturally. Guys, they just, mm -hmm. they just get older. But honestly, brains, like, if they don't experience nothing, their brains stay the same. It depends on their mindset, to be honest. Yeah. Like, there's no, like, guy that's better than the other. Like, yeah. Get to know him. As a person, you know, see what he wants, his intentions, your intentions. Yeah. The values is very important. And, yeah, you're good. Okay, somebody said, how do how to be a boss woman that make more money than their spouse? Well, for one, um, you gotta ask yourself, like, why do you feel like being a boss means you're making more money than a man or your man. 
you know, it's like, do you want to be a boss for yourself? Or do you want to just be better than that person? That's one. Mm -hmm. And being a boss is like, first you have to establish what you want. If you don't know what you want, then you ain't gonna be no boss. Yeah. To be honest. But I would say like, set a goal for yourself, write stuff down. Um, Yeah, basically. Yeah, I feel like, do I give good advice? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to be mean. I mean, I feel like those are like typical. Everybody's gonna say write stuff down. Mm-hmm. And like, I feel it's like true though. Being write becoming a boss mm-hmm. and making money than you mean it. That's what you want to do is make more money than you mean it. Okay, girl, mm-hmm. do that. Yeah, find but a career or something. Find something that yeah. you know that mm-hmm. you love. I feel like honestly, if you don't love what you're doing, you're not gonna be good at it. Yeah. So find something that you're good at that you love doing. You know what I'm saying? That just mm-hmm sparks that i don't know excitement in, it, in you because if you do if it, it's something you're doing that that sparks that excitement in you i lost my head of thought if you're doing something that sparks mm-hmm. that excitement in Run you you're always gonna be you, you know you're gonna be good at it you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying you're gonna you're gonna find a passion basically you know you're gonna you're gonna be good at doing that find a one yes one thing find a passion because once you find a passion you're not even working you're not even worried about focus on the money yeah the The money money is 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 gonna come it's gonna flowing and it's gonna come because it's something you're that you Mm -hmm. love so it's like but you're gonna get better and better and better at it you feel me and you can probably have your man work for you and now you just making yeah but that (laughs) if you want to talk about that way of being a boss i feel like she's talking about like yeah. How can you be you a boss woman? Personally? Yeah. Oh, so what do you think she? Knows? I feel like she's talking about like how can you be a boss yeah. woman mm-hmm. and make money than a than your spouse? I feel like she's saying like um, how do like you balance that? Or something like that? No, like how do you balance, balance being a boss woman and making making money than your spouse? Like, uh-huh. I feel like if we don't have nothing to do with you, I really I feel like if I feel like a girl who makes more money than her spouse, I feel like that's more of like a, like mm-hmm. a girl that makes more money than her spouse and she feels like it's intimidating or whatever. The only way a girl would, only way a girl would feel like that is if her man is making her feel like that. Like, mm-hmm. you know, make her feel like, oh, like, you know, intimidating. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, I don't know, just be that. I wish I had dimples. But I kind of do. Somebody right. said, how to? How do you get a nigga caught up? What that mean, though? I read that and I was just like, I don't know what that mean. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm from First New York. First of all, girl, I'm no shade to you. Girl from New York. Like, I'm sorry. No shade to you, girl, but like you shouldn't even be doing that. That's like... That's what does it mean, though? You know? How to get a nigga caught like, up? Like, caught up. Like, oh, yeah, caught you. You sneaking. It's like, if, if you think a guy is sneaking on you, why are you dating him? You know? You gotta... Oh, you so, gotta Reflect on yourself. I think like, I feel like that means multiple. Why? I mean, caught up. What's caught up? You gonna Google it? Yes, I sure <laughs> am. But like, yeah, because I feel like caught up got multiple meanings. Like, but she mean how to get a nigga caught up? Like, how okay, you, like, how to catch him? Like, how to okay. catch him cheating? You know, how do you catch a guy doing something? He not doing something he's not supposed to do. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, let me get into my my bad Virgo. Yeah. Let's type shit. You know, y'all Virgos be just. Um. How would I get a nigga caught up? I used to say booby chats with girls. Like, I used to be like, yo, like, like, can you inbox this boy and, like, flirt with him or whatever and see what he do? Well, that's how I would do it. Okay, know. yeah, she's Miss Detective. Anyway, she's Miss Detective, so let Miss Detective do that because I don't be doing that. I like to just come out naturally. If I met somebody, I'm now. a whole FBI out here, okay? Yeah, she's I will FBI. find your grandmother's cousin's nephew's brother's son. Right. So, <laughs> basically... You know, just go to his page, go to his likes, go to who he's following, look at the comments. Yeah. Um, basically, like. Yeah, like, I, I yeah. do that. I go through, I used to go through mm-hmm. likes, comments, yeah. all of that, the basic liking and shit. But then again, much. it's like. But it's be consistent. They could be liking your shit, but you don't be talking to them, or they never have the to inbox you. So yeah. you really don't know. You get a nigga caught up by when you just catch him slipping, mm-hmm. like, it's gonna come out. Like, niggas do not, like, only the expert, expert ass niggas that really can mm-hmm. live like double lives some, won't yo, get caught up. But like some guys is like that. Every nigga gets caught eventually. Do I not waste them? Yeah. Whatever is in the dark is gonna come to the light. So don't even stress it. No, I don't. To be honest, do I? Yeah, like it's gonna come out. It's gonna come out. 
no, you gonna find it. My Virgo cosmetics. Yeah, y'all. mine is over there. I should have brought it over here, but it's fine. Mm. The lucid dream. I better go get that. It's about to be sold out. Yeah. So what's next? Okay. Some a guy asks, I want to know why do y'all cheat? Why y'all cheat? Why do y'all cheat? I don't cheat. Why do y'all cheat? I don't cheat. That's your answer right there. Why do y'all cheat? And when you find the answer to why y'all cheat, right. then that's the answer to why we. But then cheat. again, you can't say that because I feel like I never cheated. But like women, based on what I heard, they cheat for different reasons. Yeah. And like when women cheat, they'll cheat with a guy that's better than you. That's yeah. Y'all niggas be cheating. Like, if I cheat, the only mm. way I'm gonna cheat is if I really narrow it down to like this guy being way better than you. Like mm. you know what I'm saying? Like he's yeah. do he does more for me or like. It's just like they treated me better. Yeah, you know. treating me better, or like it's you good doing. Cause. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. you treating me like shit, and another guy is giving me the best of my life, and like he's trying to like you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Get me better. Right. It's just like why would I fucking keep? You know, yeah. I don't know what. What's what's the example? Why would I keep a mm-hmm. Honda when I can get a Mercedes Benz? Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. it's just like you know. So I'm gonna cheat and go get yeah. that Mercedes Benz. <laughs> The fuck? Yo. Yeah, I'm a cheat. That's the only way I'm a cheat. Mm-hmm. But it's like, before it even gets to that, I'm gonna mm-hmm. still try to fight for the relationship, depending on the person I'm with. Like, I'm gonna still mm-hmm. try to fight for it, and we gonna talk it out. But if you just giving me a brick wall, and we right. and you keep doing the same thing, you feel me? If you're not going to a middle ground, then I'm the just effort. either gonna leave you. Yep. But if I'm afraid to leave you, which I would mm-hmm. never be afraid to leave a nigga day in my life. But, like, if that's the case, if women be afraid, then they will cheat. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because some women are afraid to leave. Some, they want their cake and they want it too. Same and, like, men. Like, they feel like, oh, yeah. you know, he got the money, he taking care mm-hmm. of the house, and I don't know if I'm going to get that with this person, so let me just try to have both, you feel mm-hmm. me? So they be afraid to leave, and they just go yeah. do that. But women cheat better than men, though. We do. But y'all motherfuckers is really dumb. Y'all stupid. Y'all motherfuckers is really you know, dumb. Don't cheat, y'all. It's not yeah, good. cheating is not no. good. If just leave. Want, like, why do that? If yeah, I feel like it's not working out, then just yeah. leave that person alone. Have a conversation with them fucker. first. Okay. Let them know that yeah. this isn't working out. You have that conversation. Why do y'all cheat? The agreement and How do you answer that? <laughs> How do you answer that? How do you, why do y'all cheat? Okay. Somebody said, oh, I like this one because I'm about to smoke about me. Uh, favorite features or traits of a guy. Um, I love men with locks. Uh, she likes your locks. locks. I never like locks. Locks, um, dread. That's the same thing. No, dread bro. is dreadful, which is negative. I don't know what you talking about. <laughs> y'all know, y'all know. Yeah, you know, you know. Google it. But anyways, my men with locks. favorite trait on a guy. I'm gonna just say their face. They face like that. Your face Woo. gotta get me. I'm like, you I know, like good. A cute body on that, but like. Mm. If you really just cute in the face, like your face is proportioned out well. Yeah, like and ooh. like you know, mm-hmm. and your skin is nice yeah. and teeth. Nice nails. Yeah, you just know. the face. The head needs to look nice. Like mm-hmm. The head. Yeah. If the that nose is the nice, main component too. Yeah. Nose, yeah. If that looks nice, then it's just like you got mm-hmm. me. Tall. <sighs> Height. I yes. like tall guys. Y'all yeah, already know me, oh. so don't even play me with that shit. Height. Okay. And um, mm-hmm. I feel like. The the like suave, mm, yeah, smooth. smooth. I love smooth. I love bitch. I love smooth because it's like when they try to act smooth, yeah, but, but you it's still like I know, know I can get you. I yeah. can get you. So but it's like no, when they try to act smooth to you, but you mm-hmm. still know it's just like you yeah. know, like okay, nigga, like mm-hmm. stop yeah, playing with me. Like you know what they doing. Mm-hmm. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't yeah. running up on me. Playing you know hard to get. You not mm-hmm. you not getting one on me. Get this one, bitch. I say that you're not gonna get yeah. me. I like the niggas that smooth like too. Guys. They lick you in your yeah. eyes and they, mm-hmm. they touch your thigh and shit. Guys no type of yeah. niggas. No type mm-hmm. of niggas. They lower their voice a little bit when they mm-hmm. talk to you. You feel me? That's what I like. That's that's what I like. I like smooth <laughs> niggas. Um. Somebody said, "Ooh, girl, stories." The next question. No, we gonna do this one. Somebody asked me about threesomes. Next, nah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. No. No, it's a no. It's no just a no. Yeah, it's Honestly, because, like, y'all men say that, but it's like, would you do it with two guys? Yeah. No, you wouldn't. 
Yeah. Anyways, next question. Next, What's the next, next question? Next. Oh, somebody says stories about bad dates. It was in the um. Oh, question child. Oh, I mean, oh, who? <laughs> Ooh, oh, yeah, man. I already did my story time That's on a bad day, but we gonna bring it up, bad and then days, I'm gonna just bring it up, and then y'all gonna go watch it. Bad days, bad days. Ooh, I, I know I had a few. Oh my god. Ooh, yeah. um, go first. <laughs> yeah, you go first. You go first. I've been going first. So this is a long story though, but anyways. Sum it up. So yeah, one of my yeah, exes, right? He was a Scorpio. Um, first of all, we went a we went on a date to to BBQs. Mm -hmm. It was years ago, so BBQs was like popping back then. But like, long story short, um, this guy basically I had his password to his phone, so I took his phone or whatever. I'm like, oh, okay, let me see your phone. I want to take a picture, and I'm going through his phone, y'all. And this man was texting mad bitches. Wow. So you know what I did? I blocked every single one of them. <laughs> I blocked all of them. Look at Facebook. Look at WhatsApp. Look at the phone, look at Instagram, look, 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 And I'm like, okay, here you go. Handed him his phone, you know. And then, you know, a few minutes later, he was just like, you block people on my phone. And I'm like, yeah, because why are you texting other people? Long story short, the man blocked me. We left. The next day, he posted some random girl on Facebook and was like, oh, I'm in love with her. This is, the, this is the love of my life and I'm like we was just on a date yesterday you know but that was really it and shit um, um, my worst date girl that was bad yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah but, um okay yeah, too much. my worst date yeah, let's hear this with that Taurus hat oh my god bitch I had two shit <laughs> Oh I only God. had two. I, only, I, I didn't really date people like that. Yeah. I wasn't really interested in niggas. Like, I just went, you know, like, get ready for me. But <laughs> my yeah. worst date, um, I was going to say that one. Okay, the other one, this this was the Taurus guy. Chill. Yeah. So, Jamaican Taurus, just run. Taurus bitch. men are abusive. Taurus, and he's Jamaican, Dang. just run, bitch. Run. Like, just run. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we was in a club. You know how Jamaicans have their little, their little night parties and shit. You get up that you get like what's some like the events and like, shit. Um, Just like bashments. Yeah, like yeah. you know they little girls come up with their little Jamaican outfits, they heels and shit. <laughs> Niggas dress up with their little button up shirts and shit. Mm -hmm. It's like type of type of event. Yeah. And we win, we partying and shit. And I just started to notice we was with me, his cousin. His other cousin and his other cousin, I think three cousins, two boys, one girl. Girl was mad cool. If, she, if you watching this girl, hey. Mm -hmm. But yes, um, I'm mad. <laughs> so we in a club, we chilling. I started to notice that he was drinking a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. But I was just like, you know, I let people let people get drunk, have fun. You feel me? I'm here. I'm not drinking, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch him. You feel me? That's my little boo at the time. It wasn't really my boo, but it was like my little potential boo. Let me show up now. I can hold you down, babe. I got you. Get lit. I got you. Make sure you get home and take your clothes off. All of that. We lay down. Whatever. But yeah. That ain't happened. <laughs> so, I started to know he was drinking a little bit too much. And then, um, the party was over. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning. The party was over. But it was like a after party. So, we go to the after party spot. So, we chilling. We standing there. And his fucking cousin asked me, like, yo, like, he was talking to me about him, I think. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, you, you know, I like him, da 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 shit. No, I don't really think that was it. We was talking... Now, I was asking his cousin about him. Mm -hmm. Like, give me advice on, on him and shit. Like, you know, what's he, whatever, mm -hmm. history and shit. He telling me and shit, da 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 So then we get out... The party over, we leave it because he started to get a little bit too... He started to get um, physical. He started to get like, you know, like mm -hmm. slamming about on the table and shit and yelling and shit. So we was like, we gotta Ooh, go. Child, like, we gotta go. Out. You doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Get you know, you know, out. You know, little <laughs> now. Let me get to the point. Yeah, let's I remember this day too. So, mm -hmm. um, we get in the car and I put him in the back because he was about to fall asleep, so I got in the front with his cousin. So he go in the back and like lay down, go to sleep. Cause that's how joke he was, but he was like in a verse of passing out. Mm-hmm. So I get in the front with his cousin, 
And he like, you trying to fuck with my cousin? You trying to fuck my cousin? Da -da 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 -da. Ma, do y'all know me? Who's that mm. ever that type of girl, bitch? I'm motherfucking classy. I don't do whole shit like that. Right. So I'm like, I'm trying to fuck your cousin. What are you even talking about? Like, we trying to get you home. That's the that's what we doing right now. You the one drunk and fuck, and we just sitting here looking at you like, what's going on? Like, <laughs> he like, you trying to fuck my cousin? Oh, you hoe ass bitch. Da -da -da -da. I'm like, nobody trying to fuck your cousin. Like, I really didn't know what to say because I'm just wild, like, where man. did you even see that at? Like, mm -hmm. you feel me? Like, I, I'm insecure. saying you probably saw us insecure on a million. Like, Taurus yeah. men are insecure. Mm -hmm. Taurus yeah. is so crazy. Like, One, the girls, too. True. Like, yeah. they just will be making up shit in their yeah. head that they swear they see. It's just like, what is yeah. wrong with you? Like, they what is paranoid. They wrong mad with you? Paranoid. Like, they so that's paranoid. really what he made up in his head that he like, swore he saw that and he really believed that because it, it went left. So, yes, um, this story is a little low because I just want to show yeah. you like, how it got to that. So I'm in the front seat. Y'all remember, remember, I told y'all I was in the front. He was in the back. This nigga swung his hand and punched me, like, right here. Like, mm, from the back seat. Oh, like, I remember that. Came so around, like, up. boom. Yo, I I felt my brain move in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I felt my brain go like that. <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> Yo. I cannot believe it. Like, you know how you just be so in shock. Yo, she called me like, Lydia, I fucked this nigga Yo. up. <laughs> <laughs> nigga ain't hit me in a long time. I ain't fighting a long time, y'all. So I was really shocked. Like, yo, he was about to get the Danielle right now. Like, on some <laughs> shit. Yo, he hit me. I got so mad. I'm like, yo, he's drunk. Da -da -da. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, he was a drug dealer, y'all. That nigga was, was a drug that. dealer. That nigga was like mm -hmm. really like all of that. So I was thinking like, you know, this and he done been to jail too. On top of that, he was a drug dealer. He was on, he was in jail. Y'all already know them yeah. muff neck niggas. Don't play with them niggas. Know your limits. So I knew my limits. I was like, yo, I just cursed him out at first. Mm -hmm. So then like his cousin was like, his cousin was like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? Da -da -da. And like he was him like, yo, sit the fuck down. He like, I'm cool. I'm cool. Right. That nigga came and smacked me in my face again. First time he punched me, but his first second time he smacked me in my face. Lydia, mm -mm. the devil came out of me, y'all. Turned that around, crazy. I turned around and I just once I saw a clear shot of his face in my eyes, my fist was just. Boom, boom. Hey, 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 hey. Like, I was not stopping. Punching him in his face. Boom, boom. I had rings on two. I broke, like, three like three of my fucking nails. I was bleeding on my nails. My tips came off. I was just punching him, punching him, punching him. Like, I was just trying to get him. Like, it just was... I didn't feel that mad in a long time. So, mm -hmm. then we got out. I got out the car. I'm like, I'm fucking leaving. He's trying to run after me. He like, I'm going to shoot you. Da -da 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 -da. That's crazy. The next morning... He, he was blowing up my phone. Blowing up my phone. He, oh, I'm sorry, baby. Do, do, do. We'll take you shopping. Where you want to go? Here, I'm give you 10K. I'm going to give you 15K. Do, 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 do. What you want? Do, I'm sorry. Do, do, do. We're going to go shopping. Let's go to Sag. Mm. You, you want shoes? You want this? Y'all went out there. I said, no, I don't want anything. <laughs> Just leave me alone. That man, that's it. I said, leave me alone, please. Mm -hmm. Like, you think you think that I'm that bitch that you could beat up on me and you right. buy me some designer? When a lot of these girls be going through that. So. When you know the type of bitch I was when you met me, I don't need your money, nigga. I got my own. Right. Talk about girls who need male validation. That's, I don't understand that question. Really. Oh yes, that. you don't understand one. That's like when okay, when she asked you. She she said, talk about girls oh, who need male validation. I like that one. That means oh, like, that, that means like, um, like you need your man to. No, that yeah. means like, you know how when you wish, you know that friend that y'all walk past niggas and they start acting stupid and shit. They start showing off and like, they need the validation from a guy to like, you know what I'm saying? Like notice, to get no mm -hmm. notice and attention shit. Yeah, like the attention from a guy, like they just need, I think that's what it means. That's what mm -hmm. you talk about. Like, mm -hmm. they just need the validation of a guy. Like, just like, to be noticed yeah. by men. I don't know about like Google. that. I don't like bitches like that. Yeah, it's manners. I mean, that is, it's different ways of, of answering that question. Yeah. Like, validation is could be like what I was mm. saying. How bitches just be oh, like they feel their guy. Mm. 
they want the attention of a guy or like in a relationship they just feel like they need their guys mm -hmm. like say so to make them feel like oh i'm beautiful because my nigga made me feel mm -hmm. beautiful or like you know, mm -hmm. my nigga said I'm ugly, so I'm ugly. Or my nigga said I can't do this, so I can't do it. It's just oh, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those I girls, mean, that kind of goes hand in hand with, like, not being confident. Yeah. It's like, why do you need another person to tell you what to yeah. do with yourself? It's like, or once you have that confidence weird. in yourself, like, once you... Yeah. Once you know who you are, then it's gonna, not gonna mm -hmm. be you no know, like someone yeah. else changing that. It's like once you know two yeah. plus two is four, mm -hmm. no one can tell you it's eight or five. Yeah. Like you're just gonna be like, bitch. It's I like you're giving somebody else the power to live like, your life. You're yeah. not gonna learn the lessons that you need to learn. If yeah. You're doing that. So it's like, no. women who need validation from men. Mm -hmm. It's like no. It's like, There's a lot of ways to that question though. Yeah. You can also do it like um. Mm -hmm. Social like, media bitches be wanting to just post half naked videos on social media because they want the validation mm -hmm. of a man. To but you know what? Like look, you know what bitch. else? Like, let's, let me get on that. Let's be real. Like, men have most of the power. Like from the very beginning, yeah. You know, like, they was always, you know, a, a step ahead of females. Like we couldn't. Yeah. It was at some point we couldn't vote. We couldn't work. You know, we was housewives and shit. Yeah. You know, they have more power, so some females still feel that way, and that's why they think they need male yeah, validation. Yeah, those bitches don't know they so, work. Yeah, know your work, girl. Because... Like, we got power. Okay, mm -hmm. we actually have more power than them. I knew who the fuck I was so. when I saw I had a vagina, and I could carry a child for 10 months. 10 months? That's when I knew. We had, we carry we carry our children for 10 months. Nah, nah. 10 months? Yes. Uh, Oh. This is it's technical ten technically ten months. Ten months. Yes. What? How long is a what? We googling right. everything, y'all. But yeah. facts is facts. Okay. Okay. Really, I didn't even yeah, know that. Ten months. Yo, I kept asking you what's next. Like the questions is not right here. Let me see. Questions. See it forty weeks. That's ten months. Is is pregnancy nine or ten months long? Your forty weeks of pregnancies, of pregnancy are counted as nine months. But wait, there are four weeks in a month, which would make forty weeks ten months. Mm. A woman asked. She said, "Do women truly want a man who is comfortable with crying slash expressing emotions?" That aren't normally seen. Yes. Yeah. I want a man that is not mm -hmm. afraid to cry for me. Yeah. In front of me. Like, I don't know why men think that's weak. Mm -hmm. Or, like, they need to hide that from their skin. Like, a woman mm -hmm. needs to see that. So, it's just, that's right. just a certain energy that y'all just bond with each other with. Like, you putting out that crying and sad energy towards her and her putting out that I'm here for you. And like you know what I'm saying, I understand energy towards you. Those two together is gonna bring y'all closer. Like, and the more you vulnerable you are, you. like the better your connection is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That connection, that those mm -hmm. two energies y'all put together. Yeah. You crying and being upset, and then her being there supporting you and loving mm -hmm. you, and like at that moment, that's gonna bond y'all way close together. Like mm -hmm. if you crying for any woman. Right. Toxic bitch is gonna call you a bitch because that's yeah. if, a, if a girl if a girl if that's you the with a girl stay away from. if you with yes if you with the girl mm -hmm. and you cry in front of her and she tries to belittle you and make you feel yeah. like you're less of a man because you cry that is it's the not the girl for you main motherfucker sound for okay. you to leave that bitch alone yeah that's probably the one red flag that mm -hmm. you just know is clear the biggest red flag right there leave yeah go mm -hmm. she ain't for you. So, Cause the bitch I love you and care about you is gonna be like, wow, like baby, you cry. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, that's power. Yeah, yeah. emotions you know is power. Saying? Okay. Why me and crying in front of me? Yeah. I'm gonna be like, wow. it's... bitch, I'm gonna stop crying. Yeah. I cry when I see people cry on TV. So yeah. I'm gonna be crying. crying. What the fuck? I'm gonna cry. When I'm here. What you yeah. need me to do? What's going on? How you gonna fix this? Or whatever. Like, what you what you want? Okay, this is a good one. Hmm. Advice for backstabbing friends. Okay. No. I ain't never really been with friends that that backstab me. I ain't never get a, yeah. I ain't never get a bitch a chance to do that to me. So advice, what can we say? Honestly, stop dealing with them. Block them. Like Yeah. 
when you take back your energy from people, they don't like that. Yeah. I'll tell you that much. Because I didn't have backstabbing friends, but I have friends who kind of, like, did me dirty in a way. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like with friends, mm -hmm. not with your relationship, but, like, not with your significant other, but with friends, look for red flags first. Yeah, like, trying. just look for red flags first with, yeah. with people that you, that are, like, potentially, could potentially be a friend. Look for red flags first. So, so. Yeah, trust your intuition. Yes. Trust your intuition. Look like, for some I red swear. flags. Trust yourself the more than you trust anything. Mm -hmm. And it's two, two, two. You feel me? <laughs> trust yes, yourself, lady. baby. Yes. Hmm. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Right. <laughs> but, but yeah. yeah. Trust yourself mm -hmm. and look for fucking yeah. red flags. Because and if you're a good person, show. they're going to come back around. And look and at, gonna look need at, you. Look at how they treat their friends that they have before they you. Need you. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. Because it's friends, no shade, and it, you know, if this is about you, this is about you. Oh, well, take it and leave it. Um, there's friends that I had in the past, they still trying to get me to, you know, hang out with them, be mm -hmm. cool with them, talk to them again. But it's like, no, you did what you did. Right. Stand on it mm -hmm. and move on. 